Our poem is Night of the Scorpion by Nisim Ezekiel. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. Ten hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice. Parting with his poison, flash of diabolic tail in the dark room, he risked the rain again. The peasants came like swarms of flies and buzzed the name of God a hundred times to paralyse the evil one. With candles and with lanterns, throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud-baked walls, they searched for him. He was not found. They clicked their tongues. With every movement that the scorpion made, the, his poison moved in mother's blood, they said. May he sit still, they said. May the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight, they said. May your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth, they said. May the sum of evil balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain. May the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition, they said. And they sat around on the floor with my mother in the centre, the feast of understanding on each face. More candles, more lanterns, more neighbours, more insects, and the endless rain. My mother twisted through and through, groaning on a mat. My father, sceptic, rationalist, trying every curse and blessing, powder, mixture, herb, and hybrid. He even pours a little paraffin upon the bitten toe and put a match to it. I watched the flame feeding on my mother. I watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation. After twenty hours it lost its sting. My mother only said, Thank God the scorpion picked on me and spared my children. In case you didn't quite get it, this poem is a memory of when the poet's mother was stung by a scorpion. He starts it off in first person, but after the first line it changes into a narrative. Here Ezekiel explains that the scorpion came in because it was raining and hid under a sack of rice. It stung his mother when she found it, before it risked the rain again and ran back outside. All of the other villagers hear about it and rush to their house, being compared to a swarm of flies, implying that they might have been annoying to the poet, as they offer prayers of hope to his mother but can't actually do anything else to help her. The poet's father, who believes that everything can be solved logically or scientifically, is frantic, trying every curse and blessing that he doesn't believe in, even setting fire to the sting. Even the holy man comes to try and help, but eventually the sting goes away by itself. The poem ends with a three-line stanza where Ezekiel remembers what his mother had to say about her ordeal, which was just that she thanked God that the scorpion stung her and not her children, who may not have been able to survive such a thing. This shows the boundless love of a mother, and they are the words that Ezekiel obviously never forgot. The key themes of this poem are, one, other cultures. For example, this poem really gives an insight into what small communities in India are like, and how everyone becomes involved in one family's suffering, and gather to see what's going on and offer hope and prayers. Two, religion. The people in the village are Hindu, as the poem mentions that they believe in God and reincarnation, like on lines 19 and 20, when it says, May the sins of your previous birth be burned away, and on line 22 when they mention the mother's next birth. And three, superstition, like when the villagers believe that every time the scorpion moves, its poison moves in Ezekiel's mother's blood, and they pray it sits still. Other things about the poem. The poem is written in free verse, which means it has no specific structure and no rhyming at all. It does, however, have a lot of imagery in it, like when it compares the villagers to swarms of flies, and later says that they buzzed the name of God. There is also a lot of alliteration. For example, on line 5, the scorpion was parting with its poison. On line 38, his father was using every herb and hybrid. And on line 41, Ezekiel watches the flame feeding on his mother. There is also a lot of repetition, mainly the 14 lines starting on line 16 that end in they said. Finally, the scorpion is repeatedly linked to the devil, or the evil one, as they say in the poem, even though at the beginning it was looked at sympathetically because it was only sheltering from the rain. The poem isn't really about the scorpion and its sting, but rather the family and the neighbour's reaction to the event, and his mother's dignity, courage and love.